Hello and welcome, I'm Liam the Music Reviewer and this is going to be a special kind of episode here because um, Josh the Blogger, um, you might know off of Twitter, um, made this um, cool wee bracket thing that um, I was lucky enough to get included in and um, as far as I know he made it like, like midnight, one night with his pals and all that and it's it's, it's just really nice, like it's kind of oh, quite a bit met and all that to finally be <laughs> doing brackets of ourselves as opposed to doing it on Brockhampton and Kanye and all that and yeah just kind of like I'll just cut to the chase and we're gonna do this bracket I think for much like I've done with my other brackets I'll just go quickly through the the first round go into more detail as my decisions become a bit more um you know decisive and yeah we'll, we'll figure out who's the king of YouTube review and I have replaced um, some names. I replaced Chris Stuckman with Zoe Camp, I replaced Ralph the Movie Maker with Ian Cohen and I replaced IHE with uh, Todd in the Shadows. There was just a few names where I thought they were more based in film than music. YMS I feel does a nice bit of music as a musician himself so that's given me like the, the kind of like the, the, some sort of leeway to go for him. Um, I know I know it says YouTube reviewing, but uh, there's <laughs> the rules of this bracket are kind of um, a bit warped. Considering there's some people in here that don't do YouTube stuff, but people that I do know will um, music review mine. So yeah, let's just jump into this right away. And um, between Luke James and Big Quint, I went for Big Quint. Um, between Kinge or whatever, <laughs> between him and CDTV, I went for Kinge. Um, between Rap Critic and Fantano, I went for Fantano. Uh, between John from ARTV and Zoe Camp, I went for Zoe Camp, no brainer there. Um, between The Social Tune and YMS, I went for YMS. And it was me and uh, Brad Taste and Music. And one, come on Josh, no one no one knows me by Young Liam. I'll, I'll forgive you for this though. Um, but just, I would have went for Brad anyway, just because, well, I wouldn't vote for myself. And secondly, Brad's just blew up crazy and he totally deserves it and um, he does a lot of, kind of like reaction stuff and that and while some people view reactions as being quite quick like the amount of editing put in there is just crazy i wish i had the patience and the skills to do that so yeah brad easily gets in front of me here and then wonky angle and justin hunt i went for wonky angle and then between buffalo and david that was that was like the first genuinely <laughs> difficult decision here because and I know Buffalo, I know David. I, I would, I would say I'm pally with them. I would even, I would, I would call them friends. Um, and oh, like Buffalo is very entertaining, and also words himself very well. David just, oh god, I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how old he is, but honestly, he, I, I'm, I'm jealous. I've been doing music journalism for like half a decade, and even some of the stuff he comes out with, I wish I could say. And that's what gave me the. That was what gave me the the, the 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 inkling to give David this here just out of I think he stands out quite well just in terms of when I watch a review of his I definitely feel like I'm getting a David Rowe review there's not really many youtubers I can kind of recall being like that but Buffalo your editing's great you've got such a presence on screen as well and just yeah you're 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 great and I'm glad that I've got to know you more via your streams and what not and yeah just keep on keep on going man keep on going um then what we're going to do is we're just going to focus on the left hand side here so i went for kinja above big quint big quint is kind of an entertaining guy but i just prefer kinja's uh, personality and then between fantano and zoe camp i went for fantano but zoe camp is produced some of the best bits of journalism i've ever seen and if you've not read any of her stuff i would definitely recommend the bit that she's done on brand new as well it was just very well written, she has a real way with words, but uh, Fantano, I've watched her stuff for ages now and inspired me a lot, so I think everyone can say that, so that's what gives him the edge, but yeah, definitely check out Zoe Camp's stuff, not that you need me to tell you that, but just in case. <laughs> Between YMS and Brad, I'd go for YMS, so I don't think Brad will hate me for that, because um, he, like, like he said in his own um, live stream slash video he done on it, YMS just manages to make these like half an hour, 40 minute videos and just makes them so effortlessly entertaining. Just gives them such a pace and you just don't feel like you're spending much time at all, especially with his year end lists. Like they're some of my favourite bits of um, kind of entertainment on YouTube. Just a funny guy, really like his podcast with Ralph and Hi HE as well. Just 
just a talented, talented guy. Um, so sorry about that, Brad, but he, <laughs> he made it past the first round, unlike me with everyone else's picks. Um, between Wonky Angle and David, I uh, went for David here. Wonky is also really good when it comes to word stuff, and I always like watching that stuff because it's, he focuses a lot on electronic music, and it's a niche that I want to get into a lot more. So he knows what he's talking about, but I feel like David's a lot more confident on screen. That he's got more of a sense of humour as well and like I say he's just he's good with his words and that. Um and then to get us to our, our kinda semi final on the left hand side, um I went for Fantano and David here. Um while YMS is so entertaining, I kinda viewed this more as like YouTube music reviewing community, so I might get kinda slack for that. But I do think if it comes to that then David definitely does it just so well, so does Fantano. Like, I don't really need to say much about Fantano, everyone knows that, um, well, he's the busiest, busiest internet nerd, so, yeah, like, he's just talented, talented guy, and between Fantano and David, I went for Fantano, Fantano just has a lot of personality to him, it's a shame what happened to his uh, side channel, because that was a lot of entertainment for me as well, but, yeah, just such a influence on me, and influence on anyone and I don't think David will be <laughs> too disappointed to lose out on the mail and, and to have made it um, this far so um, sorry about that David but like I said you're you're doing great and it's great to see you start to get more and more um, recognition um, now we're going to go into the right hand side here um, and I think we're starting from the top and we're going to go for <coughs> excuse me we're going to go for Rick the Lie, I think that's how you do it, I always thought it was Rick the Lie to kind of rhyme a bit, but I think it's Rick the Lie, and they uh, went for Todd in the Shadows um, over Ian Cohen, went for Josh Dollar Sign um, over FIFO, and went for Deep Cuts over Spectrum Pulse, again that was really difficult because Mark is just so well versed in music, I just love watching his content, and you can tell that he's got so much information trying to like pack into it, like even just throughout his videos he'll just like put it into little kind of like subtitles and that billboard break down something that I watch like as soon as I get a, my, the notification on my app. It's just a shame that he had to go against the uh, deep cuts first uh, round here, so sorry about that Mark. Um, then it's uh, BZ and the Sound Binge went for the Sound Binge and then Tabby and Mike C Town went for Mike C Town. Sean C Report of the Week um, went for Sean C and Not Real Music and Brandon went for Not Real Music Ryan. Um, then that takes us to the next round here and I went for Ryan from Not Real Music over Sean C. Sean C is is great again like, much like kind of like Kenj like they've got like their own kind of personalities but Ryan's just kind of like doing very well and even though he's kind of he's, he's still like like myself like kind of like a bit smaller in the terms of like Mike C Town that they've got like thousands and thousands of subscribers just kind of knows what he's talking about isn't afraid to hit out with some hot takes and yeah, just has his own kind of like personality. We can't make clash heads on <laughs> a lot of things, but it doesn't mean that I don't appreciate what he's doing. And um, I went for Mixie Town over the Sim Binge. Um, Sim Binge, Amy, like doing some great stuff. And um, I can tell just from like the videos that I've watched and up till now that you're improving. So it's it's just great. Like that's the whole thing about this whole like we small kind of music review community. We're all kind of like making sure that everyone's just doing well and supporting each other and just giving themselves the confidence to do it but Mixie Town just has a uh, kind of personality that gives that the edge but I uh, wouldn't be surprised if we were to this in a year's time that everyone here is kind of like their content will change big time. Um, between Deep Cuts and Josh, Josh is a great guy and um, someone I'd consider a friend. Uh, I, have to go for, <laughs> I have to go for Ollie here though but Josh just a talented guy has a lot of hot takes and I, I admire that. I may not agree <laughs> with all of them, especially not anything on Young Fathers, but um, I, I do admire that and love hearing you on um, the Not Really Qualified Talk About Music podcast. It would be great to see you do your own YouTube channel, even if it's just going to do kind of audio stuff like this kind of thing here. I think that'd be interesting. I know you do your own blog thing um, as well and you've got your art and that, so just keep on doing what you're doing, man. I really, really enjoy it. Um, and then between Rick Rick Delay and um, Todd in the Shadows, went for Todd in the Shadows just because Todd in the Shadows find very entertaining, has his own kind of like look and style. And again, much whenever I see my I see him pop up in my notifications, and that uh, I just go watch his stuff right away. But um, Rick, I've been watching his stuff a lot more recently, and Jesus Christ, I feel so bad because um, he just manages to like he has all these analogies and whatnot, just. Uh, 
you can just tell that he's very kind of like well well versed in like music terminology and just his own little similes and all that so that's somebody that I definitely suggest and I'll link to everyone here whether that be via their blogs or their YouTube channels and that because they do deserve it and uh, I would recommend pretty much all, all of them I think anyone that knows me there's probably one or two people here that I, I don't really enjoy their stuff but I don't want me this pay um, and then we'll go for Torn in the Shadows, Deep Cuts um, Deep Cuts wins this, Deep Cuts is one of my favourite channels on YouTube just in general Ollie just has all these really interesting videos, helped a lot when I was doing my my documentary slash dissertation for uni this year and just I've watched him for years he's just somebody that always seems to be doing something different kind of got like his own little kind of aesthetic going on and I just really enjoy especially like his guides and all that just he, he never feels pretentious he feels very down to earth somebody you'd like have a coffee with and chat about just everything music wise and um, between Mixy Town and Not Real Music yeah gonna have to give it to Ryan here and um, just a uh, just a just a really good really good guy that's doing some really good stuff and I can tell that like by this time next year he'll definitely be kinda like uh even even more of a prominent figure um in terms of just just the music review community. A lot of people know him at this point. You can definitely see him hitting a thousand at some point this year. Oh, he's just he's he's on a roll so and he would definitely deserve it. So yeah. And Mixy Town Wally is great. I just don't know, sometimes I feel if some people on Dead End Hip Hop uh just kinda like find their personalities a bit too much. I guess when they're all like in the one bit, they all kinda like bounce it off each other a bit better, but that's just kinda my opinion on it. But again, like it like his content, but Ryan gets the edge here. And then between Deep Cuts and Ryan, I had to give it to Deep Cuts. Just as I said, huge influence on me. I love his content and just a very unique figure in the music review community. But Ryan's doing great stuff and I can see him doing even more great stuff in the future so I would keep an eye on him and if you're not already subscribed to him why not um, go subscribe to him and see what he's doing because I think you'll enjoy it even if he's got some really hot takes so same with a lot of people on here <laughs> a lot of hot takes um, and then yeah, we're gonna get to the final here with Deep Cuts and Fantano and yeah I'm giving it to Deep Cuts here Fantano is great Fantano is really funny has some great opinions, has some really controversial opinions, but he usually backs them up very well. But Ollie's just it's it's almost like everything's a bit more subtle with him. Uh, Fantano's meme kind of content and value is just kind of in your face and is like so like prominent and that. But I just feel like Ollie's doing something that's a lot more beneficial um, for people. Uh, Fantano's doing a lot of stuff and he's making a lot of stuff more well known. I feel like I'm. I go into a deep cuts video when I walk out, feeling that I'm, I'm more knowledgeable on something that I'm more intrigued to do something. If I was to recommend a YouTube reviewer, it would be Ollie because he just kind of. You can tell that he knows what he's talking about. Same with Fantano. Same with a lot of people on here. They know what they're talking about, but it's more how they do it. And I just prefer Ollie's style and what he's doing. And yeah, he just he just wins it here for me. But for everyone on here, just keep up the good work. Um. And yeah, I've been Liam the Music Reviewer. It's been a lot of fun to do. And yeah, just... I, I don't really know how to end this here. It's just a, a lot of fun. A lot of great people in here making some great content. And I can't wait to see what happens next year. Maybe Josh can do this again. I won't update his one less film people on and whatnot. But he's done a good job with this. And he's doing some great um, blog posts as well that I've uh, been lucky enough to kind of contribute to so you should go check him out I'll link his stuff down below and yeah I've I've had a good time doing this and I hope you've had a good time listening so I'll see you guys real soon I've been Liam the Music Reviewer stay safe and stay hydrated